be honest, uh, there are many things that define us as people, you know, whether men or women. You know, it could be accolades, it can be titles, it can be possessions, it can even be people, you know. Anything, any person, anyone can define us. And you will agree with me, even as I speak to you right now, you know, you can think about that one person or that one thing uh, that you feel or you know defines you. But what cuts through my mind today as I share this message with you is this. What if what defines you is taken away? What if what defines you is taken away? Uh, I'm reminded of this gentleman who said something very interesting, that what defines us, what defines our joy should be outside what can be taken away from us. What defines you should be something that is outside what you can lose or what can be taken away from you. Allow me just to bring to your attention the scriptures in the book of uh, Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 uh, to 18. And this is what the prophet Habakkuk writes when he was going through, you know, a very difficult hardship and, and, and season uh, in his life. This is what he says in the book of Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 18. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Now these words may seem a little bit strange. So here is this man called Habakkuk describing, you know, a season of great hardship and loss. You know, he says in this portion of scripture that somehow the crops have failed, uh, there is no food, you know, their livelihood and, 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 and what they were hoping to achieve is at stake. Their livelihood somehow is in jeopardy and things are not working. They are actually in a season uh, of failure. I believe, you know, during such times and seasons, it's a season of despair, it's a season of anxiety, not knowing how our future is actually going to be. And when I read about this, is that I tend to realize that yes, in the world we are in today, we are faced with enormous challenges. We are bombarded with all sorts of of challenges and experiences. And some of them, to be honest, they can be quite painful and difficult for us to, to, to bear. But one thing that I read of, and especially when you read uh, verses uh, 18, is the resolve that Habakkuk shares and communicates to us, which I believe should be your resolve and my resolve. The truth of it is that our joy should not be dependent on external circumstances. Allow me to say this again to you. Our joy, or rather your joy, should not be dependent on external circumstances. Your joy and my joy should be dependent on God. And that is exactly what Habakkuk communicates. And he says that, you know what, for me, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. May you be defined by God. May your joy be defined by being in God. Because you know why? As the scripture tells us in the book of Romans chapter 8, nothing can be able to separate you and I from the love of God. God bless you as you choose and purpose that beginning this week, beginning today, my joy will be found in the Lord. I will be defined by joy that is in the Lord. God richly bless you.